Here's a Bloomberg TV India exclusive then. With less than two weeks left for polls to kick start, the bullish sentiment is running high on the Lal Street. Harsha Subramaniam caught up with the biggest market voices, including Ramesh Dhamani, Nilesh Shah, Sunil Singhani, as well as Navneet Munod at BSE's Stock Torero event. And he began by asking them if the current rally on the Lal Street is a case of too much, too soon. I'm fairly optimistic. Uh, particularly in the run-up to the election, I think the market would discount mm -hmm. a new administration if that happens ahead of time. And then depending on actually how the tea leaves fall, I think we could extend uh, those gains. So count me in the bullish camp. All right. Nilesh, what, what could be the best possible outcome from a market standpoint, poll outcome? A government which is focused on revival of investment, mm -hmm. which in turn assures us of the long-term growth hmm. and creates job. You played that damn well. <laughs> Same question to you, I'll agree with uh, you know, Nilesh that we need a government that is focused on all the few things. We are a young economy. You see so many young uh, hmm. people out here. We need jobs. We need development. We need growth. And I think uh, if you actually start to see, the microeconomic factors have started to turn. So I think all we need is a, is, is a, uh, a stable government. What if there is a fractured mandate? What if there is no decisive win in anyone's favor? You know, clearly I think the market will have a lot of gas built into it before the election, assuming that there will be a decisive working majority. Mm. If that doesn't happen, mm. the market is prone for a rude shock, and that will happen, no doubt about it. But the good news, Harsha, is that once the bull market starts, mm. events don't stop it it tends to climb those walls of worries. Mm. So maybe if you remember the greatest economic reforms happened in India in a minority government led by Narasimha Rao That's right. in 92. So, you know, once bull market starts, they take their own course. Mm. So I'm fairly optimistic that despite setbacks, and there's never going to be a straight line, there'll be peaks and there'll be valleys, the market will trend higher over periods of time. We're trading about 3% higher on the Sensex year to date. Do you agree that you're likely to see a volatile ride from here on till the next government formation? <coughs> Uh, if we see the behavior, the best of the opinion polls will have maybe 50,000 audience, 100,000 audience. Mm. And the stock market probably has, you know, multiple of that in terms of uh, transactions. Sure. Now, the people who can vote, they are selling equities in Indian market. Mm. And people who cannot vote, are buying. they are buying. Now, is that a conundrum? Is that <laughs> telling me the future? Sure. And if that happens, then as Ramesh mentioned, market is not priced that in. Mm. But the more important thing is, today valuations are in your favor. Mm. And you have many companies which are at the extreme end of valuation. Mm. But that's only in select sector like consumer staple. Mm. Then there are companies which have done very well. Mm. But still the valuations are in your favor, like in pharma, like in IT. Mm. And then there is a host of other sectors where valuations are at bottom and mm. stocks are 90% down from their highs. Of course. And these companies have really had a tough time. They have done cost cutting. They have rationalized their labor force. They have rationalized the productivity. Mm. So as in when the growth comes back, mm. these companies will deliver profit which will, be, which will be multiple of what market is priced in. Sure. And these stocks can give significant return. I saw Goldman revise its, uh, you know, its view on India a couple of days ago. Is this optimism a bit misplaced? Because the economic fundamentals of this country haven't changed dramatically. Yes, inflation has come off a wee bit. Uh, growth numbers still seem sluggish. Even the new government is perhaps going to deal with low growth. What is the basis of this optimism? I think I differ with you. Uh, fundamentals have changed quite dramatically. If you just uh, see what was the situation in March 13 and what is the situation in March 14 across fundamentals, so in equity investments, I think you have to look at what is going to come rather than what is the present situation or what has already come. And I think across macroeconomic factors, we are seeing that uptrend uh, in, uh, on an improvement side. Macroeconomic data points suggest that things have improved and the market is only factoring in the fact that it might even improve from here on. Uh, would you agree? So a lot of credit for this recent rally has gone to probably an expectation of a certain political outcome. 
but I would say that a lot more has to do with the dramatic improvement in the macro. So you said that there's no dramatic change. I think the India has displayed in last two or three quarters a very dramatic improvement in the macro. Go back to July 2013 and the expectations on current account, on fiscal deficit, on rupee, on uh, inflation, on, on the outlook for the rates, everything has undergone a massive change. Also in terms of your outlook on corporate profitability has undergone a big change in the last couple of months. Sure. Particularly on the current account and that has resulted in a very different view on the currency. The way currency has shown the resilience, particularly in the month of January, when all other emerging markets were under pressure on a day when Argentina peso was down 12-13%, mm -hmm. rupee was like within a range of half to 1%, rupee yes. showing tremendous amount of resilience. So I think macro has improved significantly mm -hmm. and of course during the election time we are going to see heightened volatility depending on the outcome that we see ahead and ahead of the election as well as the after the uh, mandate. But I think over a period of time people will real, realize that I think the macro is improving at a pace which is much faster than what anybody would have anticipated till few months back.